tell me something. What kind of woman in her mid 40s, because you look like you're pushing 50, sleeps with a married man and then gets pregnant by him? Uh, 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 no, ma'am, that is not how we're starting this conversation. The bigger question is what kind of woman at your age suspects her husband is cheating on her? Confirms that her husband is cheating on her and still stays. Don't try to twist this on me. Answer the question, whore. Oh, I've been called worst. Is that the best you got? But why should we resort to name calling, Ava? Let's handle this like grown women. But then again, it would be pointless because you're still going to stay married to him. For the kids. And if it's not for the kids, then it's because you signed a prenup, you big dummy. Oh, so you've been sharing personal information with your whore, Terrence. I'm not surprised. What are your plans with him, now that you know that he's married? What, what's your plan? <laughs> the bigger question is, what are mine? Ava, I want a divorce. Oh. I haven't been happy for years. Oh, neither have I, Terrence. But what took you so fucking long to say this? What? I hate you. And if it weren't for my children, I would have left you a long time ago after I found out that it takes you 20 seconds to come. You can't talk to me like that. You're such a cliche. I knew about all the whores, including this one. This whore can fight. The only reason I stayed was for the kids, not because of the damn prenup. I've had a second account since the day that Drew was born. Me and my kids will be okay without your money. You won't survive without me. $750,000 in savings and $5 million for my daddy's life insurance says that I will. You kept all that money from me? Well, yes, for when you finally decided to do this. I signed your divorce papers. Um, to be honest, it was long overdue. I was just waiting for you to say something. I don't want anything from you. Um, I don't need any money, obviously. But I do want to keep the house because me and my children are there more than you. So I think it's only fair. Once you agree to that, I just ask that you leave me and my kids alone. You can't take my daughter from me. No, oh, your precious daughter, that's all you care about. Chantel will probably put up a fight and want to come live with you. And you know what? I'm not even going to fight with her. She can come live with you. That's fine. Me and my boys will be okay. Well, Tamika's pregnant. Yeah, we're going to have a baby. And we're going to be together. Stop. Stop it. You're delusional. The moment I found out that you were still married and that you've been lying to me, I blocked you. I haven't spoken to you since, Terrence. You couldn't possibly still believe we have a future after all of this. Mm. What the fuck? Tamika, you can't get rid of me. You having my baby. <laughs> Patron, one of my favorites. And you know what? Since I'm off today, I think I'm going to mix. Oh. Are you crazy? I know. Mixing dark and clear liquor together is crazy work. You're, you're pregnant and drinking. Are you trying to hurt my baby? <laughs> Terrence, my oldest is 20 years old. My second born is 18, 19, or about to be 19. And my youngest is 17 years old. And he's about to be a senior in high school. And to make matters worse, all three of them still live with me. <laughs> Imagine how chaotic my household is. It's all right, baby. Don't worry about none of that. I got kids that's almost grown, too. We can raise this baby together. I'll help you. I want another girl. Terrence, I flushed that blood clot down the toilet. Oh, my God.
I don't know what that means. Yes, you do. You're 44 years old. Connect the dots. I wouldn't be consuming alcohol if I was still pregnant. How could you not tell me? Boy, shut up. How could you not tell your wife that you were cheating on her? How could you not tell me that you were still married? Tamika, please. No! Please what? We're done. Ew. I don't mess with married men. Mm-mm. Hey, can, can, we, can we talk at home? Talking about you coming to pack your stuff and getting out of my house? Absolutely. Hey, Typical, empathetic. Your whore doesn't want you, so now you want me again? Ava, bitch, I will beat you the fuck up. Call me another whore. I'm sorry. Your side piece. Proceed. Your side piece doesn't want you, so now you want me? You know what? I forgot who I was. You both will regret this. Another woman will appreciate this. For 20 seconds. That's a unique hairstyle. I like it. I like yours too.